Welcome to Strategic Alliance Management. This topic is about ecosystems, the rules that govern ecosystems, and the market characteristics of today. This slide is slightly philosophic, or probably dealing with a little bit of history, just to give you a little bit of a context. We all know this, it's the Mayan wheel. What I wanted to convey to you is that markets basically derive their whole characteristic from time cycles, changes in generations, changes in the quality of life of generations, and technology is just an enabler. For example, although the Mayans um, we look something interesting. <laughs> the more interesting part is that the Mayans basically built an entire time continuum which explains how humanity is going to evolve over time. And the, it's not just about the Mayans. So did the Venetians. This picture is that of a golden statue at the Venetian in Las Vegas. And if you look a little closely, you can see the zodiac etched into one of these circles. And when they spin around, you can find out exactly what the age or time or date is. Well, enough of history or philosophy, but very quickly, just to... Um, Kind of sum up the time cycles and the market changes etc wd gan for example if you research on this gentleman he basically used circles squares timelines the zodiac to forecast the price of stocks similarly if you read about the fourth turning it's going to give you an exact idea where generations are headed and how generations behave. Similarly, other stuff, you know, sunspots, for example, most people do not probably worry about this, but the sunspot has an 11 year cycle. And just research about it if you can. So we dovetail into the innovation cycles. Innovation cycles also move based on time, based on markets, based on humanity, based on generations. And that is exactly the reason I believe the digital age has new rules. And the better we are at understanding these rules, the better for all of us in the age of ecosystems. This snap talks about the three ages, the industrial age, the information age, and the digital age. We will focus on the digital age and the green boxes that you see are nothing but the market characteristic. And you'll see when I go through these market characteristics, all of these are very much in synergy with each other. So let's take a quick look. The first thing that we are going to talk about is the strategic cooperation piece. And the strategic cooperation basically comes from the sharing of the economy. So what we mean by the sharing of economy is nothing different than like a ride share, where multiple people group together, reuse the car, the direction, and they reutilize the asset. So a sharing economy is where we are. And that's fundamental to understand that everybody is trying to utilize, reutilize, minimize and expand upon the value of one simple thing. So, we then go over to the next one, which is a very critical factor, and that is user as a producer and co-creation. Think of, okay, let's say you're a sales rep, working on a sales rep, Salesforce system. In all honesty, if you're a sales rep, you are a user of that system. You put in the data. 
It is your manager who gets the data from multiple users and then creates a accurate forecast. Your manager is the producer in that system and you are the user. Where things are moving is that the user and the producer would be the same thing. For example, business analysts who forecasts a business in say a supply chain, they have to depend on another set of people who are called data wranglers, for example, who put in that information from multiple data sources together, etc. So if you look at it, the business analyst is the user and the person who is churning that data is the producer. So you're dependent on each other. But that's where things are going, which is the user will slowly and always be the producer. It's a very interesting concept. Similarly, co-creation is all about creating the synergies typically between sellers and buyers. For example, uh, a customer that is looking to buy products from its vendors now asks the vendors to come together build something together and offer it to customers together it's a common thread so let's quickly go over to strategic cooperation i think we definitely know about this a sharing economy the word sharing itself is about cooperation so st strategic cooperation i can give you a fantastic example Microsoft and Oracle join hands to fight Amazon. Amazon is both Oracle and Microsoft's business enemy. Whereas Microsoft and Oracle have been arch enemies for years. Having these two arch enemies coming together to defend against Amazon is a sure sign of strategic cooperation. Similarly, when cooperation happens, information needs to be connected to get visibility, to get agility. Connected multi-purpose products is not just IoT or Internet of Things, but it is all about taking many to one. And since you take many to one, you can share and that is like a circular concept where whatever you do goes back to the same market characteristic like Bitcoin, for example, or blockchain. Let's take Bitcoin. Bitcoin is all about a network effect. More the people, more the connections, more is the power. So now you see this is a new age of ecosystems and which is exactly the next couple of pieces, which is the business ecosystem. What is a business ecosystem? It just means, can you take two disparate parts, put them together, create synergy between them, and it can operate and give customers the experience they want, but it's a seamless one. Target combined with Amazon, it's like Target's retail apps, on Amazon is a seamless retail experience for customers. The, that's exactly the same with IKEA, for example. That's a business ecosystem where things can be made to come together. Vendors and customers are operating together to ultimately create the value for the customer. Make sense? Now here's the final piece. The final piece is to make business ecosystems work. Business ecosystems need to be broken down into strategic platforms. The strategic platforms can be individual products or technology products or infrastructure products. But all these platforms have to work together to create that business ecosystem and operate it 
so that it continuously creates the value. Business ecosystems and platforms are the driver in the digital age for the ecosystem economy. So thank you very much. We are Strategic Alliance Management. Our view of the world is to create really solid strategic alliances and ecosystems for digital transformation companies. So thank you very much and have a nice day.